Learning algebra can be fun. That's right, I used algebra and fun in the same sentence. With a bag of Lego bricks, a few cards, and competition, we are going to have fun and learn playing the algebraic expression game. What if someone said to you, represent and solve multi-step problems involving the four operations with whole numbers using equations with the letters standing for the unknown quantity? <laughs> I bet some of you didn't even finish listening to the entire statement. It's actually a fifth grade math standard. I've studied the standards, so I know what it means, but I also know how the brain learns. Concrete, too pictorial, too abstract, even when it's algebra or pre-algebra. That's why the game we're going to play with Legos in this video is ideal for middle school students or students who would benefit from experiencing algebra in a concrete, hands-on way. These are middle school students. What's going to engage them and make them want to play and learn? Yes, it's competition. So adults or older siblings get ready to play too. Before we begin to play hands-on expressions, there are a few terms I'd like us to review. These are all contained, all these resources are contained at glenatabor.com on in the packet for resources for game, math games with Legos. The first is variable. Variable is a symbol for a number we don't know yet. There's a variable. A constant is terms in an algebraic expression that contain only numbers. For the purpose of this, it doesn't really matter how many studs or bumps are on these. I'm going to let the yellow represent positive and the red represent negative. For the constants, I'm going to let the gray represent positive and the green represent negative. If you don't have these colors, no worries. You can use a color that you do have. You can use washcloth, towel, piece of paper, cardboard. I use felt mats because they're easy to store with the game, but you can use anything that will help set up that person's area. You'll also need some algebraic expression cards. You can make these up or use the ones from glenatabor.com. The goal is to be the first player to represent the algebraic expression on the card using the concrete manipulatives called Legos. And remember the outcome? After playing this game, the learners in your home will move ahead because their brains will understand algebra in a concrete way because they will forever remember using Legos for something that's typically abstract. Let's try the first one. Five times an amount plus two. with middle schoolers, <laughs> I add fun <laughs> to the game. I use answer buzzers. <laughs> so all players will put their hands on their shoulders. Then the leader will turn over the top card and the players will race to see who is first to concretely represent the expression that has been turned over and then they can tap the buzzer. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Let's try another one. Clear your mat. Ready? One, two, three, go. Two times a number minus two. There it is. Two times a number minus two. I love playing this. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw and want more, visit my website, glennatabor.com. There are over 100 games there. You can download all for free. <laughs> the games are fun. They teach the concepts your children need to be learning right now. <laughs> if you have any questions or you'd like to see games for other concepts, 
please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this game, be sure to click the subscribe button so you'll know every time a new game is added. See you next time as we move ahead at home.